Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Wednesday, November 10, and I am very happy to have here with me Ivan Loewenberg, or Ivan Loewenberg, depending on the language that you speak. And he is with the Los Cabos Film Festival, which will be celebrating, it's actually starting its 10th edition today, uh, November 10th, and will continue until the 18th. This year, the film festival goes back to or to uh, in presence uh, screening of the films. Ivan, welcome. Thank you so much for giving us some of your time. I know you're busy. Can you please let us know what is going to be the format for this year's film festival? Thank you, Claudia. Yes, we are going hybrid. We will have 20 films on our virtual uh, streaming platform. And we will have seven films screening in Puerto Paraiso at the movie theaters of, we have been always there. Uh, we'll have only seven screenings. The tickets are already online. So please, if you are interested in these seven films, uh, try to get your seat because they're probably going to sell out. We'll have Belfast, uh, Mass, The Eyes of Tammy Faye, um, and Red Rocket, uh, screening at 8 p.m. And screening earlier at 1 p.m., we will have The Gigantes, Transition, and La Requa. These three films were shot in La Baja and are linked to La Baja. So we will have uh, two of the filmmakers joining us for Q&As afterwards. Wonderful. So everybody should go to the theaters or you can buy your tickets online at the movie theaters website or application. Um, you can get tickets for all seven of these films. And also for those who are not going to be able to join these screenings, there's going to be a virtual portion of the film festival. Can you tell us about it, please? Yes, uh, our virtual festival will be for free. Uh, you just have to register on our website, cabosfilmfestival.com. Uh, and as soon as you register, you will have uh, the films available, but they will be released on a certain schedule. So you just have to keep up with the schedule and see which films are going to be released when. And after you click on the rent, rent button, it's not going to cost you. Uh, you'll have 24 hours to watch it. Uh, the, the views are limited, so if you are eager to watch one of those films, uh, try to be on time on the release, on the launching time, so you are one of the first to get the ticket, because last year we got all our virtual screenings sold out, so uh, just for prevention. That's a great tip. And the website to follow the virtual version of the Los Cabos Film Festival is cabosfilmfestival.com. Make sure to follow us on Cabo Mill News and check out this broadcast so that you can follow the program, follow all the streaming and uh, make sure that you are there on time to be one of those first 500 people that get to watch the films. Ivan, thank you so much for your time and congratulations on the 10th edition for the Los Cabos Film Festival. Thank you very much, Claudia. Uh, I'll be physically on the theater. So if you have any questions, just pop there and ask me. We'll catch you there. That's all that I have for you today. Have a great evening and make sure to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Velo. And make sure to follow us on Facebook at Cabo Mill News. <laughs>